Good morning, everybody on YouTube land. Well, it's morning when I'm filming this anyway. <laughs> and uh, guess where we're going today? That's right. Pooley, pooley, pooley. Old pool. Going to pop to pool. See what they got in pool. That's right, in pool. Going to go to pool. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Let's pop to pool then and uh, see what we can find today. Off we go. Then here we go. Oh look, it's spot the young person competition. Yeah, it might take a while. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Thursday the 27th of June and we're heading into Bournemouth. That's right, we're going to go to Paul, but um, I had to go to Bournemouth first because the minute that I arrived in Bournemouth, I missed the bus by about 30 seconds, which is complete bollocks. So never mind. And uh, so I decided to head up towards the triangle. And here's me with a bit of bollocks for you. Well, I've just missed the bus to Paul, so I'm gonna pop to Paul and Fitch and V quick, have a quick nosy. Yes, I've just said that, you twat. <laughs> oh look, Hank Marvin, keeps popping up from time to time, doesn't he? So yeah, they're refurbishing the outside of the arcade where H&V is at the moment, but still, H&V is still open, so we can still go and see what they've got. And their bargain bins, apparently the bargain bins will be leaving H&V uh, possibly towards the end of July. Oh look, there's uh, Cedar Chucky, one of the weakest films in the franchise, but I still quite like it. There's the charts. And uh, I did see this one from a friend, Preston and Candice, the Fat Samurai. He's uh, after those ones, so I'm hoping to find them a bit cheaper though, because they're a bit pricey. But um, yeah, so very nice. Now we popped into CEX afterwards, um, but I didn't stay in there for long. Got talking to my friend Richard. If you're watching Richard, hello mate. It was then time to pop to pool at long bloody last, and I waited for ages for the sodden bus to arrive. I tell you, they either go too early or they arrive too bloody late. But anyway, here we are then. We've arrived in Paul. There's a the lighthouse and there's the high street where all the uh, civilians live. <laughs> so we popped into HMV, like I said, and uh, we looked at the charts. The Kid Who Will Be King is a fantastic film. Really do recommend that. It's a lot of fun. And uh, the bargain bin there is a bit better, but um, it's the same old stuff, really. They have some very nice still books of Star Trek, the original movies. The horror section was pretty good. They have some good uh, quality titles there, like It and A Quiet Place, etc. But I uh, didn't pick anything up. Well, actually, I did, but you'll find out later what I picked up. Anyway, after that, we buggered off, or I should say, I buggered off to Poundland. That's right, 100 pennies land. Let's see what they got in there then. That's right, same old shit. They are starting to get new titles in though. Um, there were a couple in uh, Hereditary, uh, uh, apparently, has been turning up. Big Paulie found it, and another chap on his Big Chat, Big Paulie Chatting Movies page on Facebook. Some guy found it as well, so yeah, they're about. Did see this one though, Harry Potter in 3D, but I uh, have the box set, so I don't really need that. Yeah, uh, interesting what there. On to Poundland number two. Right then, into Poundland number two. That's right. <laughs> oh dear. As you can see, they've got the same old shit in a different shop. They've got a couple of new ones in here, but nothing that really stood out. I've not seen that left behind, but I'm, I'm, it's Nicolas Cage. And I do like Nicolas Cage, but he's very, mm, I'd say 70-30 on his bloody films. You get the odd good one here and there. Anyway, nothing in there for me today, so then I thought, I know, let's pop to CEX, that's probably the sex shop. <laughs> and I had a look around there, and as you could probably guess by this point, I bought fuck all. <laughs> so, after that, I thought, well, the day is young, what should I do now? I know, let's go over to one of the, but all the dumb people do their shopping, that's right. As duh. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Anyway, so as to they do this one in Paul has the best DVD Blu-ray section of all the Asdas in the area. That's for sure. They got loads of sections, and um, they did have some bargains in there as well. Nothing which I actually wanted, but um, they did have some a good variation. They actually had a whole shelf dedicated to Blu-rays. Usually, it's just down the bottom. But if you look down the bottom on these shelves, they had uh, for the first time some three-pound Blu-rays. One there with Vin Diesel, some war film, some an awful film i don't even know what it is and there's an oh look there's nicholas cage again oh dear um oh refreshingly bold oh my god 
Good job I got a day job, isn't it, with jokes like that. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh well, anyway. Oh look, there's a train, how exciting. All the train spotters are probably wet themselves right now. Oh look, and as if by magic, the Viagra pills have worked in, it's gone right up. Lovely. There's the bus station. <laughs> oh dear, with the civilians. And back on the bus, buggering off back to Bournemouth, and then buggering off back home to me. And I'm home, people, hurrah. As you can see, I'm quite red in the face. Uh, it's very hot and sunny out today. Very hot indeed, but um, it was nice to get out and um, see what we got, to, what we could find. Didn't pick up much, to be honest. I only picked up one thing for myself today. So there's no point doing the whole of the shit we bought because it's the shit I bought and it's only really one thing I bought. So it wasn't really worth doing the whole intro. In fact, the time that I've said this to you, I could have added that in, but never mind. So what did I pick up today? Well, the only thing I picked up today was this, Cult of Chucky. Um, it was three ninety nine dollars 99 on HMV in their cell. I've got the box set of Chucky, as I'll just show you now quickly. And as you can see, it's a very nice box set. So this one was the only one I needed to complete the collection until the new film comes out, which I will be buying on day one, because it is brilliant. I will leave a link to my review for that new film, uh, Child's Play, down below. And um, yeah, check it out if you've got time. <laughs> uh, this afternoon, well this evening I should say, we're going to go and see Toy Story 4 at long last with my friend Michelle and we're going to catch up with John later for some grub as well. So looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to go and chill. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please like, share and subscribe and take care everybody and the giveaway is being sorted as I speak. So anyway, I'm going to go bugger off now. I'll just speak to you guys a little later. Take care everybody and see you soon.